G'day! In today's video, I'm having a look at a HEMA H1 GPS. This particular one has got a broken charger port there. So what I need to do is figure out how I'm actually going to get into here to take it out. So this will be a bit of a tear down to get to it. Probably won't be showing any of the repair of the charger port. But let's open it up to see what we can find. So to begin with, Let's find how we can actually get into here. There we go. So there seems to be a start. Here we go. In, twist. In, twist. Larger pry tool in there. There we go. And that was actually easier than expected. Hmm, we're apparently on at this point in time. Going by the blinking light. Hold it down. Let's go a bit closer. So as with GPSs and cheap tablets, the makeup of them was all fairly plain and simple. I already see the issue that I've got right now. And luckily, no, unluckily, it looks to have ripped up all the traces with it. I'll get into that in a moment. It does look to be also another optional connection over here. Now yeah, I do want to find with how where and how that battery is connected. Tape is a bit shit. Excuse my language. This is also being taken off with a 75 degrees Celsius heat pad. So this is coming off a fair bit easier than it probably would for you guys at home. Disappointingly, the battery is hard soldered directly to it. Which is over here. One, two, three. Three connections over here. You have, looks like a controller board for the touch panel. Uh, for the display. But yeah, my issue is right here. I will see what I can do with that, but I'm not liking my chances. So for now, I'm going to disconnect the display. So I don't want to do any damage to that by accident. So, sorry, the touch panel. Now I'll disconnect the display. So with the heavily damaged micro, no. Mini USB, I'm not, I forgot the model. Mini, yes. 
the damaged mini USB here, then being that it looks like it's torn up the adhesive pads or the traces of it along here, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to repair that. If you're wanting to upgrade to a larger battery, you definitely, definitely could potentially do that, being there does seem to be enough actual physical space in here for a larger battery. So you basically unsolder the three connections along here, swap it out with enough a 3.7 volt battery, but probably a 6,000 or 7,000 milliamp hour battery, similar dimensions, should fit in there just fine. So that will do for this pair down, sorry. I'll leave you high and dry right now. The reconnection of it is pretty straightforward once you've got your cables reconnected. You just need to physically push it in and it will click and crunch into, the, into position. So the physical reinstallation of it's quite straightforward. But yeah, that's the inside of a, where are we? Of a Hammer HX-1. Hope this helps and I'll see you guys later. Bye.